So uh, we are back in the slaughterhouse for the, was it fourth video now? I think this is the third. Okay, oh, third first. and final. Um, we, not we, I will say Kelly did. Um, we, not we, I will say Kelly did an immense amount of research and found out a lot of information on this house and its history. So uh, I'll let her talk more about that, but we wanted to come here with this information we know and do our last investigation here and try and see that since we have this information if we can get any coherent responses that will correlate with that information so here we go all right, all right give me one of those cat balls okay ball. these guys are motion activated cat balls so oh there it goes so they light up. I'm gonna put one up right here in this door frame. And since we're putting that, where do you want to put this one? I'll put this one like halfway up the steps. Okay. Set it back right here. Okay. Now, one thing I will say real quick, an awesome shout out real fast. Uh, Florida paranormal researcher. I will actually link his information in the description down below his YouTube and his Instagram. He did a giveaway and I won this awesome mini REM pod, which honestly is going to take our investigations to the next level because we really wanted one. But, you know, being a family of five, that's a little mm. hard to afford, you know, $300. But uh, if you guys will see right here, Kelly's holding it. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, it's loud. Yeah. Okay, now what we're going to do... That's sensitive. Yes, it is very sensitive. That's what I love about it. Okay, so we've got the rim pod set up right there. Ooh. Yeah, just to show you guys how awesome this is. Super cool. Super sensitive. Super good. <clears throat> so, so we got one more time. Right? Shout out to him. Thank you so much, man. That's awesome. I think I want to kind of push this one up a little bit for her to do those stairs. Okay. That way, if someone just wants to walk down the stairs. See, it takes a lot to activate those, which is really cool. Alright, so okay. we got the rim pods set up. Yeah, rim pods set up. We got cat balls. So, do you want to try and ask some questions real fast before we turn on the spirit box or anything? Just, you know, call out and... <clears throat> I think I just want to kind of introduce myself. Okay. And, well, us. Hello. I'm Kelly and this is Shane. We've come here a couple times. We've been very respectful. I've done some research about your house and I just had a couple questions and maybe you can answer them for me. So we're here to try to get some answers and we've got some devices that we can use to talk through or you can take the energy if you need it to talk. 
We've got some REM pods and some balls. You can touch those, let us know you're here. But we're gonna ask some questions and see if you can answer them for us. Okay, so. What do we wanna start? Do we wanna do a spirit box? Uh, actually, just go ahead and turn on the perilous and we'll just sit here for a second and see if we get any any communication on the perilous. Which, by the way, guys, that's an amazing app. It's the ITC Legion Perilous. You can download it on all app stores. We've gotten some amazing, amazing responses with that. I swear I keep hearing something in that back room just like last time. I know, I keep feeling like I keep wanting to look back there too. It's always near that basement. I'd have speaking. My... Speaking. Yes, we are speaking. We're speaking to you. And we want you to speak to us. We found out a lot about the history of this house. Can you introduce yourself? What's your name? How old are you? So it says there. As I'm walking down the fucking. Almost as soon as we walked in the slaughterhouse farm, we started asking questions with the Perilous app, and the responses we were getting were so coherent. We were definitely feeling like we were communicating with somebody, not to mention all the movement and the different sounds we were hearing inside the house. Where's there? You don't mean any harm. How did you die? If you can, can you please use the energy from some of our devices and come over here and touch this REM pod? It's really easy to, to, to go off. All you have to do is just walk right by it and it will alert like that so that we know you're here with us. Indicate. Indicate. Yeah, yeah indicate. Indicate that you're here. Oh my God, that's... <laughs> if you touch it, it will indicate you're here. That's right. That's honestly pretty crazy. That's that's <laughs> a pretty pretty gnarly response. And I honestly don't feel that it's a residual haunting here. I really feel like it's intelligent, especially by the way it answers our questions, especially when we did the Estes Method Spirit Box last time. Stop. Why do you want us to stop? That's me, sorry. It says stopped, not stopped. So I looked at this house and I know that the Fishans lived here. Is that how old you were when you died? So, Victor 
if you're still here. Geez, did you watch over your family? Victor died when he was very young. And he was married to Sarah, but she went by Sadie. And she was left with, I think, three young boys at the time when he died. And I just want to know, Victor, how did you die? You were very young when you died. You left a family. Did you watch over them? Records. Yes, I looked into your records. I know you were running a farm when you died. Did Sadie struggle to keep up with the business? Grew. It grew. The business grew? Your oldest son, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, I think it's Leonidas. He took care of everything, didn't he? We hear you back there. Do you remember us from last time? Can you repeat back our names I told you earlier? Who's Thomas? Assess me, guys. I want to set the REM pod back in here. I swear I'm hearing footsteps. And is that you? Okay. Yeah. I'm hearing footsteps. And, and what sounds like. I'm going to put it in front of the basement right here. It sounded like we heard you in here. Who are you? Is this your home? Sacrilege. Sacrilege? Sac What's sacrilege? We're not sacrilege, surely. We just want to talk to you. Can you tell us anything about the Underground Railroad? Noah. 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 Was Noah one of the slaves that you freed? Because we know there's a secret room upstairs that goes into the attic. Touch that rim pod for me. You heard it beep, make it beep. Sadie, if you're here watching over your house, can you show us that you're here?
Harry. Who's Terry? Make a bang or a knock for us so we know where you're at. You mean the basement? Are you in the basement? It really seems like we keep getting drawn to the basement. We keep hearing voices down there speaking. Many times over devices, we've actually caught basement, and it just seems like there's some kind of energy that's trapped down there. Make sure I don't have any fucking spiders or gonna die or pop me when I come. Dip my head down in here. Try not to sit off the fucking ring pod. <laughs> Until. Until. Until what? Is there anyone down there? If you're down there, let me see you. Show yourself for me. I don't know, for the most part, it seems like it's pretty quiet in here. Fell. Fell? Did. Did you fall? Lick. 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 Please don't lick me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? You want to try uh, the Estes method? I'll let you do it this time and I'll ask some questions. Mm, yeah, you can try it. So guys, we actually went out and we got uh, an actual blindfold and then noise canceling headphones so that we could try another Estes method session here because last time we got some unbelievably amazing communication. And uh, I did it last time, so I think we're gonna have Kelly try it this time. Oh, what the hell? I never noticed that. Yeah, it sounds like a mess. There are a lot of small businesses around this street. Yeah. Like the, the feed. Yeah, the feed, here, hold uh, this for me real fast. The feed company that supplied them with. You know what? Before we do that, let's try a couple EVPs. Okay. I'm going to get the Estes Method stuff out anyway. All the... Inform. Yeah, and, uh, inform us. Oh. Right here is where I felt a strong energy move right beside me, and little did I know, we caught a whisper on camera. Oh. What the fuck? I never thought that was a spider. Are you ready? <gasps> it just Again. fucking said your name. I think she likes me. That's all it is. Do you guys see that? It literally just said Kelly's name. Sit this down real quick down the hallway so it's filming just in case because you never know. Is there anyone here with us right now?
you can talk to Kelly through the device that's in her hand right there. Is there any of the Ephesians here with us right now? Sentence. Sentence. Two. The two of you back there? I think I saw you. Up. You upstairs? You don't have to worry. We're not here to be mean or, or hurt you in any way. We just want to know about your history and what happened here in this house. We know these walls hold a lot of memories. And we're just interested. We're sad to see the state of this house. Out of here, Brown. Why do you want us out of here? Who's talking to me right now? You were here. Yeah, we were here before. That's because we're truly interested in the history of this house. We want to tell your story. Listen. I'm trying to listen. Adopted. Can you make a loud bang for me? Is there anything that you would like to tell me? Are you stuck here? You know it. <clears throat> I just heard a fucking growl. to God that we're getting this on camera right now. It literally sounds like somebody's talking in the basement. Why are you here? Crafted. It's really crazy that Crafted came over the Perilous app because it feels like there's the energies of the people that lived there that are in the house, but also it feels like there's something dark, something that's angry that's trapped in this house. And it really does seem like maybe something was summoned there by who knows, maybe some dumb kids coming into the house trying to do stupid stuff that they don't realize what's gonna happen. So it's definitely interesting that we caught that. And by the way, you guys are not allowed to touch us in any way, shape, or form. Are we safe here? It's okay.
So we're safe. You're not going to hurt us. It feels like it feels like I'm speaking to multiple. It's late. Yes, it is very late. Oh my god, I just saw something there. What the fuck? I just saw a full fucking shadow, guys. Are we disturbing you while you're trying to sleep? We know it's late. We know there's a lot of people that have came here and broke things and hurt your house. That's not us. Talk to Kelly. Hit me with it. I don't want to hit you with anything. We're not here to harm you. We just want you to talk to us. We want to know about your family and your business and... Device. Yeah, touch the device in there. We want to know about the Underground Railroad. She said... What did she say? Don't, Michael. Don't what? It's just a grunt. It is. Here is where I heard the S-Box say, it is, and I didn't even know that the Perilous had said on to make the sentence, it is on. She just said, it is, and then she said on. Was that you moving? I got chills. Are you affecting Kelly right now? I'm hearing you talk. Come on, make a loud bang. Let me see you. Yes. I keep hearing moving, guys. It really sounds like there's somebody walking. Yes, you can. That was clear. Yeah, you can talk to us. We want to know your story. We're the, the reason why we're here right now is to document your story. Heaven. Are you, do you want to go to heaven? Why? Because you don't have to stay here. Open you, up. You can cross over. Guys, I'm starting to get really affected right now. Got goosebumps all over my body. Talking? Hate it. Wes. What do you hate? You hate talking to us? Is that what you're saying? Is there anything else you want to say to yeah. Kelly before I bring dead. her Dead. Do you know you're dead? This is your last chance to say something to Kelly. Okay. I'm going to stop her to say what you want to say now. This is your last chance.
go material. Ahead. Go ahead. Oh, it says you got me. Okay. That was weird sounding. Well then, well then talk. If you want to keep talking, set one of my devices off. Either touch one of those motion activated light balls we got, or touch the rim top in the other room. Because if not, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring her out. She, we're gonna stop communicating. Okay, I'm gonna bring her out now. You want me. Ooh, right when I get ready to touch her, guy. Right when I get ready to touch her. To this is her. all male voice. Literally, right when I get ready to touch her. Who am I talking to? Who's communicating? Who's the man that we're speaking with? Six. That was really strange, guys. That literally I was a half a second away from touching Kelly's shoulder. Why are you here? Okay, I just said my name. I heard a man say my name so clear that it scared me. I have, I feel like I have some type of connection with the spirits there because my name's come up multiple times over multiple investigations. Yeah, that's, that's Kelly. You can talk to her. You're here. Yeah, we are here. We want to talk to you. You seem like you're people. Been... Yeah, we're people here. Yeah, we're definitely here. Do you not like us being here? Because I mean this with all respect. If you don't want us to be here, we will leave. We're not here to bother you. We're not here to bug you. And if that's what you're doing, if that's what we're doing, if we're bothering you, then tell Kelly, say stop to Kelly right now. What the fuck? Kelly's phone just switched. It's... Nothing. I couldn't make it out. Nothing. No, no, nobody touched that phone, but the screen changed. What's so crazy is right here, the Perilous app itself shut off. And all the investigations that we've done, we've never had that app turn off. It always stays on throughout the entire length of our investigations. So something had to manipulate the device to turn it off like that. And as you guys can see right here, it scared me to death. I started stuttering on my words. It was just unreal. So that happening is really crazy. Are you messing with our devices? Chills. Come on, talk to us. Obviously you're here. Are you from the Fusions family or are you somebody else? Were you even alive? Money? What, did you have problems with money? Was there issues with like a dispute with money? Boys. Boys? Is there an issue with boys? Boys and money? Did they steal money from you, maybe? Were you betrayed by someone? Tried to do it. They tried to steal money from you, okay. Well, what happened when they tried? How'd you stop them?
this. It's getting like the energy is like just changed in here. I mean, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like the air is thick. And like, open it for me. I keep hearing voices in the basement. What do you want me to open? Didn't. This is definitely your last chance to talk to Kelly. She's She's been under for too long. So if there's any last words you'd like to say, please say it. Orange? That's <laughs> weird. I feel weird. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to give you 10 more seconds. Spoke to me. Yeah, we did speak to you. And we truly appreciate that. It's female voice now. It sounds like we're communicating with multiple spirits. Now I could really feel the energy change multiple times in this house. It would be like where the air gets thick, like it's almost suffocating. And this happened every time she would get the man's voice come over on the S-Box. And then as soon as the woman came back through, it's like that energy was gone. Okay, well, we really, really appreciate you talking to us. And we hope you know that we mean you nothing. Only you. Only us? Well, that means a lot to us because we know that, you know, people come in here and destroy your house. And and we're so sorry for that. But we just want you to know we truly appreciate you. Door. What door? I mean, we got some some crazy stuff, but I kept hearing kept hearing that voice in the basement, and then I heard a growl like three or four times. Are you kidding? No, I swear. Did anything I said make any sense? Yeah, some of it did. And it definitely sense. seemed like whenever you were talking about that there was uh, like a male voice that was talking for a minute. Yeah. The the energy in here absolutely changed. I have a good feeling. Did you move? Did you walk around? No, I stayed right about or right where I'm at. Well, right in front of here. Oh yeah, that that was me. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how to turn this back off. Do you want to turn it off? Uh, I, you know what? I'll try for about five minutes. Okay. Cause you were. How long do you think you were under? I don't know. About. I don't know. It was about twenty minutes. Are you serious? Yeah. It didn't feel like twenty minutes. Yeah, it, was, it was definitely about twenty minutes. So here, I'm gonna give that to you. Put my glasses on my. There's definitely some uh, weird vibes, dude. That yeah, it just I started doesn't... getting chills when that voice, the male voice, started, and I kept feeling like there was one little piece of hair on the top of my head that was being messed with. It just doesn't feel like they like to talk to me. It feels like they want to talk to you. That's because I'm a girl. Mm -hmm, and I look like a fucking Satan. <laughs> I'm sure that has something to do with it too. There's, uh, there's they, not some, they, there's something that's not good here. And they don't like you. What was it like being a widow? Here. Did we you? are. They don't like you at all. No, they don't. I can tell you that right now. Like, literally, I'm not, I got goose, but dude, my hair is standing on end. Like, what the fuck? Plain as day, you two better go. Why is the stairs on the basement tore down? Come see. That is right on. Dude, I'm telling you, I keep getting fucking touched, I'm done. All right. That was the second fucking time, dude.